All right, how are you, divers? We're okay. You're okay? <laughs> All right. Okay, let me tell you this, okay? If you want to learn scuba diving, it is always good to practice your snorkeling. Remember that. Yeah. So when you have the money, you go to a dive shop, you buy yourself a mask, a snorkel, and a fin. Okay? Now, you practice a lot of uh, skin diving. And then when you ascend, you practice the CESA, emergency, controlled emergency swimming ascent, okay? So if you're a good snorkeler by doing a lot of skin diving, scuba diving is very, very easy. Remember what I said, the best way to practice is snorkeling. You can snorkel in any deep pool from 10 to 12 feet, okay? You just need a mask and a snorkel which you can invest for less than 2,000 pesos. All right. Now, if you want to become a scuba diver, you have to learn the what? Dive table. Dive table. Yes. Why do you need to learn the dive table? What's the reason? It's uh, in order to avoid the compression um, diving or sickness. All yeah. right. Okay. Now, um, in the exams, there's three questions related to the dive table all right because you might have friends who would like to become divers they can always uh, uh, check out the answers for free <laughs> we're giving out the answers for free yes. but they have to understand why the answer is letter j letter g and the last question is the um. residual nitrogen time why the residual nitrogen time is 15 right so that's based on question number? 46. 47? 46, um, the remaining nitrogen. Yeah, 46. Yes. And then the other two is 44 and 45. Yeah, 44 and 45. All right, now let me explain first um, how to deal with the dive table. Okay, can you look at your uh, dive table right now? All right, let me tell you that the yellow represents the depth. The depth. The blue represents your pressure group. pressure group. And the red color, or is that pinkish or red? Red, red color, that represents your bottom time. All right. And then the other one, which is near the uh, pressure group, represents the surface interval time. Okay? Which they call the... Resting time or SIT. And then on the um, uh, repetitive dive, which is down below, which is down below, you have what you call the uh, residual nitrogen time. All right, now, uh, can you point to me where the residual nitrogen time is? These are the nitrogen. Yes, okay, where's your bottom time? Bottom time. That's the bottom time, all of those. And where's the resting time? All of those right is the uh, rest time. Okay, where's the depth? The color yellow. This all the yellow are the depth. Okay? All right. If you just want to do one dive, which, which do you follow? Everything this. on top. If you just want to do one dive. But if you're doing a repetitive dive, which one do you take a look? On the table down below. All right? Now, um, this table is very, very uh, conservative, all right? If you don't want to have a conservative table, you might as well buy yourself a computer. Understood? Yes. Okay, but I cannot certify you unless you know how to use the dive table. Okay, let's start with question number on the exam. 44. 44, okay. What is the question there on 44? So we have this question. A diver planned a day trip dive. So his first dive would be at 30 meters for 25 minutes and a surface interval of 2 hours. Uh, his next dive would be at 20 meters for 20 minutes. And uh, the question uh, is what um, pressure, the diver pressure, uh, what will be the uh, pressure, pressure group. group after he, uh, his or her 
dive, uh, two dives. Okay. While uh, 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 April is plotting it, can you take a look at your dive table, please? So you can understand what April is going to say. Just use your uh, pen so we can uh, check very well on the video. Okay, start, please. So the diver planned a day trip. So his or her first dive will be at 20, 30 meters. So this is the depth, 30 meters for uh, 25 minutes. So this one. So the first pressure group, uh, the diver will be will have a letter H, and then he or she will have a surface interval time or resting time for two hours. So this is the resting time for two hours, and then um, we we will look at the next um, pressure group of the diver under uh, below which is the letter e so in order to have his or her second dive we will look at his or her next um uh depth so we have here 20 meters however we don't have 20 meters in the dive table so we will just use the next higher number which is the 21 so um, we will look at the res residual nitrogen time, uh, which is under the group uh, pressure group E. So we have 26 residual nitrogen time. So you have to scroll your ball yeah. pen. Can you scroll the ball pen? Here? Yes. The uh, pressure group okay. E. We can use the word intersect. Or uh, the pressure group E intersects with the... Um, 26 residual nitrogen time so we have here 26 net uh, residual nitrogen time so this 26 residual nitrogen time will be added to his or her next dive so the next dive will be at 20 meters however wait a minute um can you check again where's 26 you were saying 26 here oh okay that's 26, 26. we just want to make sure that's the residual nitrogen time yeah okay all right you and have to add that to to uh the next uh bottom time so the depth for his or her next dive is 20 meters however we don't have 20 meters so we will just use this 21 meter meters depth so we will add this uh the time which is 20 minutes here to the residual nitrogen time so we will have uh, 20, 46 minutes which is not here in the table so we will just use the next higher the next higher um, bottom time which is the 50 minutes so our, uh, our pressure group will be on the letter J this is that's why we have here the answer letter J on 44 number 44 question okay let's review what you said huh? so the new uh, divers would like to learn how to use this um, can understand so the reason why it's J is because every time you make a dive all right yes. you need to know your residual nitrogen time which you need to add to your bottom time and then when you know your total bottom time which is the residual nitrogen time plus the bottom time is the total. All right? Yes. Then you will know your pressure group. And then, how many hours was that, Res? For two hours. For two hours. Okay. Let's repeat that again. Huh? Uh, where, where's the resting area? Resting That's the rest. Area. Because yeah. every time you make a rest, your pressure group becomes lower. That's why in diving, you cannot dive all the time. You need to yes. rest, correct? So again, this residual time, which is down, you need to add that to your bottom time, okay? To get your pressure group, which are the blue letters, correct? Yes. All right, so that's question number? Number 44. 44, okay. Now let's go to question 45 on the exam paper. What is the question? So the question for... Uh, number 45 is that a diver planned a week trip 
he will be doing four dives in two days. So the first dive would be at 20 meter for 30 minutes. So 20 meters for 30 minutes. Because we don't have 20 meters, so again we will use this 21 meters step for 30 minutes. And then the second dive would be at 20 meters for 20 minutes. However, the diver will have his or her dive after 18 hours, so it's uh, it's like uh, the day. They call okay, let one. me explain. It's a quite a confusing uh, question yeah. because you don't compute the first day. Yeah. Because the question is uh, making it uh, more difficult because the divers they include their pressure, including the first day. Because after the first day, when you have rested, you don't have any more nitrogen, mm -hmm. correct? So you don't include the first day. You have to actually go to the second day. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So if you go back to the question, okay, you go back to the second day. Forget about the first day. So uh, what, what happens on the second day? So we'll just uh, uh, measure our pressure gradient on the second, uh, pressure group on the second Yes. Day. Don't include the first day. That's why it's confusing. So we, have we made it here, really confusing for divers. So we have here, um, the first dive will be at 20 meters mm -hmm. for 20 minutes. So again, use this 21 for 20 minutes. 21 for 20 minutes here. And then our pressure group will be letter E. And then the divers will have two hours resting time. So we have here, we don't... Uh, we don't have two hours, so we'll just use this time between 1.58 and 3.22. 3, 3 hours, 22 minutes, I mean. So we have this new um, pressure group, letter C. So again, we will um, find the residual nitrogen time for the second dive, which is um, 15 meters for 20 minutes. So 15 meters, group C, for uh, 15 minutes, 15 meters. So we have here the residual nitrogen time of about 21 minutes. So this, um, the next dive will be at 15 meters. So 15 meters for 20 minutes. So we don't have 20 minutes, so we'll just use this 25. So we will going to add this um, 25 with the residual nitrogen time, uh, 21 minutes. So we have a 46 minutes, I mean 46 minutes. So total? Total. Okay. So you computed the residual nitrogen time to the bottom time? Oh my God. Well, yeah, you made a mistake. I think I, I yeah. jumbled. jumbled the numbers. Okay, let's I'm do so it all sorry. over again. Let's do it all over again. All right. Okay, you're forgiven. So okay. Sorry. I got lost. Uh, so let's dissect this problem first, so that we. Let's just go to the second dive. Second dive. So we have here uh, twenty minutes for. 20 meters for 20 minutes. So we have here 21 for 20 minutes. So our first uh, pressure group will be letter E and we have a resting time of about two hours. So here we have this resting time, two hours. So as we go down, um, our new pressure group will be letter C. So our next dive will be at 15 meters for 20 minutes so in order to know the residual nitrogen time we will um we will we intersect can, we can again okay. intersect or we scrolling to the right here. so under the uh, low uh, pressure group uh, letter c we have this 21 nitrogen uh, residual nitrogen time and then we're going to add this one with the um 15 meters for 20 minutes for 20 minutes so we have here so we have here so 25 plus 21 
I I mean sorry it's 20 na 25 I'm so sorry uh, we will have we we have here 20 minutes for uh, 50 meters I'm so sorry so I thought it's 25 so we will we'll, we'll add this 21 residual nitrogen time with the uh, 20 minutes so we have a 41 um, minutes a bottom time so uh, we don't have 41 so we'll just use this 50 bottom time that's why we have a um, pressure group letter G all right is okay so it's a little bit confusing she made a mistake that's why people now use computers because when you're diving you don't want to have <laughs> stress so if you don't want to uh, if you don't want to use a dive table you buy yourself a computer okay what's the last one we need the uh, one minute let's do it in one minute huh mm, all right one. so the last question we have here a diver his first dive and his ending pressure is letter c so his first dive is let um ending pressure is letter c so here yes. and then his second dive is 20 meters for 20 minutes letters uh, i know this one okay letter made c. a mistake again so sorry you have to go to the bottom okay let uh letter c for his or her ending pressure and then the second dive is 20 meters for 20 minutes so we don't have here 20 meters so we'll just use this 21 okay. so we have here 15 15 okay 15 we just wanted That's to know the rnt right so the rnt is 15 so now you know all the answers so you can pass our uh, exams all right so thank you very much uh, april give me the okay sign okay. thank you